England play Wales today, so I thought I'll go back in time and show you my match day program for our second match in Euro 96 on a Saturday. Scotland v England, Saturday the 15th of June. We won 2 0. Paul Gascoigne scores an unbelievable goal, goal of the tournament, and David Seaman made a crucial save when Gary McAllister missed his penalty. There's the ticket cost me a lot of money and we'll go straight into the program that is all about UEFA officials and all that there is group A fixtures referee and linesman the European champions finalists from 1960 to 92 who won it and who finished runners up that's how you took pictures in 96 before digital cameras you put the film in the back of the camera it either goes in or it pings back out and then you took the film down to the chemist and they would develop them for you football's coming home everybody knows the song if you were around in 96 Scotland's route to England Cannon did you know Villa Park and Wembley Stadium with the old Twin Towers Coca-Cola, the famous Coca-Cola anthem was Eat My Gold from Claps Lung which probably nobody remembers even back then Scotland and England gain more information Scotland's European Championship record and McDonald's, the official restaurant of Euro 96 Scotland and England England's European Championship record, which is not very good at this time. Who are Snickers Bar? The official sponsors again. Annie McCoyst giving his thoughts on Scotland. And of course, he was one of their most important players. Life is a game. And we know which one. Umbro, of course, you used to manufacture the England kits. Craig Brown answering some questions Colesberg and the Scotland team called Jim Layton won the FA Cup with Manchester United also played for Aberdeen Vauxhall Opal more players Tosh McGinley John Endry who Paul Gascoigne had to flick the ball over the score that amazing goal JVC the official sponsors of Arsenal back in the day more Scottish players, John Collins, Gary McAllister, who missed that penalty. Phillips of Holland, the official sponsors. And of course, we've got John Spencer and Stuart McColl, MasterCard. <coughs> Cole, 0800 964767. I don't think that number works anymore. And of course, Annie McCoyst and Gordon Jewelry. More sponsorships for Euro 96. The equipment, supplies and support of Euro 96. Lad Brooks, the bookies. Previous encounters dating back all the way to 1872. The first meeting which finished, of course, nil-nil between England and Scotland. A bit of a European tournament schedule of all the teams. There are some of the old programs of yesterday of England and Scotland and Castrol GTX with their phone number 0800 489 489 Terry Venables another sponsor the England team of course David Seaman and Gary Neville and the great Tony Adams and we have Stuart Pearce and Paul Lynch and Gareth Southgate. Microsoft, that's what we used to use back in the day if you had a PC, Amiga or an Atari. Floppy disks. Steve Stone, Sol Campbell, The Great David Platt, an advert for the Midlands Bank. We have Les, Les Ferdinand and Steve McManaman. And of course, the great Paul Gascoigne. Some more information. This one is from BT. 
and the finish of Alan Shearer, Teddy Sheringham and Darren Anderton and Robbie Fowler and Cellnets showing you their latest mobile phone only twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> you could actually take phone calls with it uh, that's all you could do <laughs> and there is the last game we visited on the 27th of May 1989 Scott England winning 2-0 in the Rouse Cup whatever that was and London's official newspaper the Evening Standard before it became 3 Lily, Lily Shoal that's where they train and that's their official sponsor Green Flag only 29 50 a year, and there's the phone number 0800 triple O triple one. <laughs> and there's something about before the Beatles, it all began before the Beatles. And there you go, the official game for Euro '96 by, by Actor Sports, not the best game. I think it came out on the Sega Saturn and on the PC. Yes, the PC, the ROM, and the Sega Saturn. <laughs> More information there on England. There's Deutschland winning the tournament. More on Euro 96 TWA, whoever they are. And there's Czechoslovakia there, beating Germany on penalties to win it. The crowd puller, whatever this is, not sure. And finally, I think more on Czechoslovakia beating West Germany on penalties. The official thing about the English PFA, all loads of players here. Together we'll kick racism out of football. And there is Euro 80, Europa 80, where Italy won the tournament. Simply read on tour. Yeah, we can skip them. <laughs> and there you go, Germany winning the tournament again, beating Belgium 2-1. Some more information on the game. I think this is about footlooganism. <laughs> and there's a Euro quiz. That's virtually the end of the program. The Football Trust as football grounds were being redeveloped up and down the country. And there is the back of the program. We have Canon, Colesburg, Coca Cola, Fujifilms, JFC, Mastercard, McDonald's, Vauxhall, Philips. Snickers, Umbro, there's the sponsors, there's the England and Scotland squad. Mm, what a nice little program and a nice little trip back to 96. I hope you like this video. Share it all across the internet, please. And if you like this video, thumbs it up. Come on, Scotland, give it a thumbs up. It was a great day. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Let's have a great game between England and Wales. Whoever wins, all the best. Thank you very much for watching my video and goodbye.